Hi, this is Kevin Trainer. Welcome to my tutorial on uh, modifying a user story in uh, Jira Agile. And this is a part of the uh, developer track that I'm putting together for my senior capstone uh, class. So you'll see here that I am uh, in uh, Jira Agile. I'm on the backlog uh, board which we've already found our way to before. Um, that's sort of the uh, default uh, position when you go to your project. We're working on our uh, my practice uh, project here out of Africa. I've created one user story. Uh, the idea is 088 C bank account balance. And uh, now I want to do some modifications. Now, um, this is a pretty wide use case because there's a lot of things that I might want to do. One thing is I might have gotten some aspect of just kind of the textual aspect of, of the story um, uh, wrong and I want to correct it. In any case, if I want to work on this, I'm going to go out to the right hand side. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Sorry, I'm just going to click on this issue number here. 088. Ah, and there we are. And so now we're going to get uh, we're going to get a lot of this uh, stuff uh, here. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's roll down. If we scroll down, we can see the description. Okay. If we come up here, we can see the uh, see the summary which we're using for the user story name. So if I've got some kind of uh, change, um, so let's just say I want to add, uh, let's say I want to add uh, a commas at the end of these first parts. Just add commas. Okay. Okay, I put a period at the end of those. So then I, I've got that. So I've made some changes, right? And now I um, now I need to commit them. Um, and the odd thing is in this user interface, um, and it's not really something that I favor, is as soon as you change a field and you come off of the field, the change gets applied. So there's no submit button. Okay, now being an old school guy, I like my submit buttons, but uh, the Atlassian folks are not big on submit buttons. Okay, so I've uh, I typed my commas in and that's it okay what else might you want to do well another thing that you might want to do is you might want to enter the estimate for the story okay now how do we estimate uh user stories well we've learned in our uh, jira uh, i mean we've learned in our uh um uh, class on um, Agile Project Management, we've learned that we are going to be picking um, estimates that are just scores, okay? And we've learned that the scores are going to come from a number series called the Fibonacci number series, okay? And the Fibonacci number series is appealing to us because it um, it increases by not quite doubling. And that makes it really easy to pick between two alternative values uh, for something. So we are going to be picking numbers from the Fibonacci number series and we're going to be putting them into this estimate field. And for those of you in the class, um, you can find in the Leighton book on page 135, um, there's a pretty good 
explanation of uh, using the Fibonacci numbers in an approach that we call estimation poker uh, to come up with a number. And the numbers in, in the series are 0, 1, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144. We typically try to get um, keep the team in the lower part of that when they are estimating individual user stories. Um, I'm going to say, because this one is a, a typical user story, I'm going to say that our team played estimation poker and we thought that it was an 8. So I'm just going to click on that estimate field and put an 8 there. And again, when I click off of that, it's been updated. Okay, there's no submit button. Okay. Um, there are all kinds of other things that we can set here, but not things that we have to. Okay. Um, uh, here's where we can add links to issues. Okay. Now, what kind of issues could we link to? Well, you have to remember that issues in JIRA are uh, stories, tasks, um, bugs, or epics. Okay, so in particular, if there were reported bugs that we knew about, we could add a link through the add link uh, button. Okay, likewise, when we add a bug, okay, we can associate it with this issue, and this issue is a story. So we could, as we put the bug in, we could link it to OA8. So you could go to OA8 and see all the bugs that had been reported against OA8. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, so that's uh, pretty much what we want to do. Okay, um, I'm going to leave that there. Now, uh, I don't want to delete this uh, task, but I would want to. I'd want to show. It's not really a task, it's a story or an issue. How about if we created another issue? So let's create another issue, okay? And let's just call this a dummy issue, um, dummy story, so that I can delete it, okay? And enter, okay? And again, there's no submit button takes a while to get used to that. All right, and then that's automatically in edit mode over here. All right, now if we want to delete it, okay, how do I delete it? Well, I can come up here on the upper right, click on, on the three dots, and um, click on more actions. Oh, Lord. Where are you? Uh, no, that did not work. Oh, lovely. There'll be a slight pause where I find the functionality. Uh, so, uh, thanks for waiting there. I am looking all over for uh, the part of the user interface where I get to delete the user story. And the fact is, I'm not used to being a developer. Okay. And as a developer, you can add a user story. You can change a user story, but you can't delete a user story. Okay, so if you get one in there and it's wrong, you have to get your teammate who's in the admin role to delete it for you. Hey, how about that? Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is that in this uh, uh, backlog that we have here, we're starting to see all these issues. These are, at this point, these are all stories, right? Um, the ones that have a um, the ones that have an estimate over here where we have this uh, gray um, little rounded uh, thingy. Uh, you can see I had put in a an estimate of eight and that's where it is right there. Whereas uh, the dummy story, so that I can delete it, uh, doesn't have any estimate at all. Now let's do this. Let's at least go into the dummy story. Okay. And let's 
uh, change the name of it. Okay, uh, so let's uh, click uh, here and say edit. Okay, dummy story so that I can delete it. A uh, dummy story I will ask my project admin to delete it. Okay, because I can't delete it myself. I think I'm going to click on update and I can do that. Okay, so OA9 has been updated. It still doesn't have an estimate, uh, but I'm going to have to ask my buddy to delete it for me. All right, so that is uh, changing or modifying a user story, including um, uh, putting an estimate in. Okay, going to say bye until next time. Bye-bye.